Hello everybody and welcome back to Hardcore Strategy for the Elite Pixels. For today we are going to be looking at the first chapter of the second dream. And as usual of course I'm going to be skipping over the cutscene so one needs to see that and there's a little quote from some fanatical horror writer. But regardless, let's get into the game already, shall we? So starting off in an enclosed area, how are you going to get out? Well I'll show you. Once you go close to the bomb in, they will blow up, and it can also trigger switches. Now this thing, it's rare, you won't see it much, but what it does is that it shoots out a spike that hurts you. But you can only kill it by crouching and stabbing it because it's so low. Now for this part, all you have to do if you want to get the points is just kick the enemies into wherever you see fit. If you don't get them, that's alright, there's plenty more to go. All you want to do is jump around these guys, try not to get hit, and dunk them in there because there's a little pit of spikes against the wall. There you can see you almost already have enough project point, just kill the bomb in. Knock him down, shoot him, take the hit, whatever, and all you need to do is just hit a checkpoint. You're going to need a checkpoint for here because it's a little bit difficult to jump underneath these uh, hitting poles. But basically, uh, what I show right here is the sliding on wall mechanic. All you have to do is like, hold up against the wall and slide down. You don't have to hold anything against it. You just jump on it and it will stick to it. And there you can see a little technique we'll be using a lot of, which is the dash. Basically, for that, you will be holding any the directional button and attack, and it'll dash you forward. That's very crucial for this part, too, because that's the only way you can pretty much get through the saw blades in an easier way. You can try to jump through, but it's a lot more difficult and less direct. Now, for this part, I'm not going to say it, because all you really have to do is just jump on the walls. It's basically a wall jumping puzzle. Whatnot. If you don't hit the hill with the spikes or the top of that or the bottom, but for the most part it's pretty safe. Now of course here is a little example of one that we can kill enemies by stabbing them until they hit the spikes. Hmm. Although I am gonna have to save here because there is a chance we can die, so that's where you want to save. And if you hit the bomb in right there you can blow that guy up. Give me a lot more points, actually. And here's another example of killing them. You can just kick them in the spikes and still give you points. <clears throat> I will show a little example here though, of what you're not supposed to do. If you hit an enemy, you have to keep hitting them or kick them, otherwise the points will disappear and you don't get them. Because that's the only way you can get points from killing enemies. Is that, like, if you hit them and leave them, the points will disappear and you won't get them. Now, I'm not going to save right here because, well, you will want to save right here, but I'm not because, you know, I'm a little bit of a player, but for this part, it's a little tricky. And so what you want to do is you want to get as low as you can and then jump right over there. Now I am going to wait a little bit because there is that uh, saw blade system right there in front of me, but uh, should be pretty good once I get through. If you do get hit, don't freak out. If you hit the spikes, you can still jump again. But as you can see, even with one heart, you still have a chance. And you are going to want to save right here because those little things that shoot spikes out of you, they are going to hurt. And sometimes you won't die by hitting them. But if you're not careful, you can die. So basically what I do is jump on the platform, jump over them as much as you can, since you do have the height limit for them, of course. And for this guy, if you want to get the book, you just gotta kill him to blow him up those enemies and then you get it. I'm gonna get it just to show it. It's pretty easy. And here's just basically you slide on the wall back and forth, wait for the saw blade to go past you. You don't have to hold off to uh, jump off the wall. If you hit the jump button, you'll just do that. Now for this, to kill these enemies that you want to, you can just kick them in the air and you'll get plenty of points for pretty much getting the insta-kill. However, if you don't get that many points, it still gives you enough to get a checkpoint. And there's a little platform. And, of course, here's the little walls you attack for no reason. Now here's where they introduce some of the most obnoxious enemies in the game. Squiddy things. Why are they so annoying? Because they have a very small hitbox, and they can dash at you and go through you sometimes. Lucky for me, I don't get hit all that often, but yeah, as you can see, if you jump into them, they'll actually still block you, so yeah, it is pretty annoying sometimes. <clears throat> and to pretty much complete the level, we gotta knock out a lever, which is color-coded, and we well, only gotta hit one lever. And that's pretty much it. You can kill if you want to, you don't have to. And that's the end of the level. A lot quicker than the prologue, actually, surprisingly. I found out the completion time of this is like half of what it took to do the prologue, because apparently this one was a lot more closed in, so you had more of a direct path. So that's it for chapter one. See you all for the next time when we do chapter two, which is significantly more difficult. Until then, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and with that, I will see you all next time.